Hi, this is Dr. Danola at the Denver Wellness Center. This is Manny, my office manager. We're going to discuss a little bit about ozone, uh, using ozone in general dentistry. Ozone sort of has a negative connotation in, in terms of smog, but in, in these controlled environments, it's very effective to kill. It kills uh, fungus, viruses, and bacteria. So under um, safe conditions that we utilize it for, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a medication, it's, it's medicine. Do you want to talk about how you're, we're using it um, during restorations and tooth decay? Yeah, so for, for dental decay, what we do is before we finish the filling, as soon as we finish the preparation, we sterilize the tubules and um, kill the bacteria before, of course, we seal the tooth off, which sort of makes sense. There are, there are medications that do this. People use um, chlorhexidine and some other kinds of materials, but we're just using something directly on the tubule. So we have a little pen like this, and we, we place this little, uh, it's actually for delivering composite, but we use this pen and we just put it in the inside of tooth preparation, and then we continue to do the bottling. So we use that every day, don't we, Mandy? Yes. Okay. Um, we're also using it during dental surgeries. Right, so during dental surgery, we'll, um, we'll be anesthetizing the patient, do all our surgery, and then we're putting the gas directly and water directly into there to irrigate uh, the wound site, killing the bacteria. Ozone also increases blood flow, which is required for good wound healing, so it increases the um, vascularity of the, of the area. And we also make water every morning, so we're using this to just for normal... Uh, Rinsing, irrigating. Yeah, and so um, what this machine is designed for a dental office, and it, it we put oxygen through a tube that's sort of like a little electric storm. On the other end comes out this ozone, and uh, you can uh, you can look up ozone therapy on the internet and, and learn a lot about it. Thank you.